Hello, this video will show you how to log in to your patron account to see what you have checked out, see your holds, and renew items. You're looking at our catalog, and up in the right hand corner you can see a link for login. When I click that, I'm taken to this screen. Here's the login screen. You'll want to enter your name, barcode, and PIN. And then click the login button. You can, depending on your browser settings, elect to save some of that information in your browser. And you can see that now your login name will be displayed right up here at the top. You'll now have the option to save items to a cart. Another training video on that will follow. And you'll have a link to my account. If I click that link, I'm now looking at my patron record. You can see your contact information and name are listed in the lap. Below that, it'll list any items that you have on hold, any items that you have checked out, a way to modify your PIN if you'd like to change it, a list of your reading history if you've opted into that program, a list of anything you've rated, and a list of your lists. This is just a brief overview of your patron record and individual training videos for those options will also be available. If I want to get back to searching, you can see that I have an open tab up here. Depending on which browser you're using, the My Catalog screen might open in a new window or a new tab. And I can now perform searches while staying logged in. When I'm done with my session, I'll want to click this link to log out. I'll get a confirmation screen and then I click yes to confirm and I'm now logged out and you can see it no longer displays my name in the top right hand corner. Logging out is especially important if you're using a shared computer. You can also renew items by logging into your patron account and I'll now show you an account that has some overdue items checked out. I'm logging in just as I did before And this time notice, in addition to the login name being displayed up at the top, there's a blue exclamation point. When I hover over it, it says alert, materials due today. That's a nice way for the system to let you know that you have materials that need attention. If I want to see those titles, I can click on my account. And you see that now my default display is my holds but this link says six items currently checked out. And if I click that, I can now see the items that are checked out to this account. It will list title and author, barcode number, status, which will normally be the due date, and also a call number. And you can see that it's telling me that this volume of Baby Mouse Beach Babe has already been renewed one time. I can either select all my items and use the renew all button or I can choose individual items for renewal and choose renew marked. When I do that I get a confirmation screen and I click yes. I can see that now those items are also marked as renewed one time, a renewed message, and the new due date. If for some reason an item couldn't be renewed, for example if it was on hold for someone else, you would get a message confirming that. Now that I'm done renewing, I can click back to my search screen and always important to remember to log out of your session, especially if you're using a shared computer. Thank you for watching and our next videos will cover how to place holds, how to put things in lists, and how to tag items. Thank you.